There are numerous organizations working for the uplift of women. Every organization is playing a vital role to bring developments to the life of a woman. However, a reputed organization, Aqwa, was founded by the Rana Liaquat Ali Khan, wife of the first Prime Minister of Pakistan, Liaquat Ali Khan. She put all her efforts not only for the development of this organization, but also for the uplift of women. Later, Laila Sarfaraz continued her mission and with her unending efforts, Aqwa has earned not only name, but has also proved to have played a vital role in bringing developments to the life of the woman in the country. Although Aqua is not that much active in our province than any other provinces, nevertheless, it helps out women of the province in every time of distress, whether during the floods or any other disaster. A couple of years ago, when a military operation was launched against the militants in Sawat, more than 3.3 million people migrated from the valley. Apwai stood beside all the females of Sawat along with the migrated women of Bajor and Deer. Apwai not only supported them, but also provided them with edibles. Same was the case during the flood in which 0.257 million people to leave for safer places Apwa rushed to help those affected female residents of the flood-affected areas. It collected necessary items that were considered to be useful for the migrated women. It also arranged shelter for the affected women and gave them protection in different government and private schools of the city. Apwa, along with its other activities, arranged medical camps and distributed non-edible items. It provided sahari and iftar to the helpless migrated in different schools where these people were living and continued till the end of Ramadan. A total of five delivery cases were also reported where Apwa provided cause of the said five cases. When Apna Ghar scheme, Apwa donated Rs. 0.3 million for which Sarhad Chamber of Commerce awarded Apwa, which is also a proof of its activities. Mrs. Begum Liaquat Ali Khan wanted Apwa such a platform that would work for the welfare of the women. In the middle of 1950, Apwa had started working with 1200 